Sky Sport. He's at Auckland Airport, and there's a little bit of commentary yourself doing some good scoring some tries. Billy Harmon, welcome to the show, mate. How's it going, mate? Thanks for having me. <laughs> Look, we've got Tom Christie on very shortly as well. We know you guys are going to be up against each other. Um, I was just whispering to him on the phone on the other line, and he said that you've actually know each other well and have played against each other across the grades. Uh, yeah, you know, growing up, both are from Christchurch. Um, spent plenty of time playing against each other and playing alongside each other, so I'd say we probably know each other's game pretty well, yeah. Billy, how, how have you guys sat back and assessed what happened on the weekend against the Blues? What are the main topics you've talked about post that match? Uh, yeah, I mean, the scoreline's pretty tough to look at. Um, but I think, you know, the key thing for us was about accuracy. Uh, we turned the ball over uh, close to 30 times. That's including, you know, knock-ons, penalties and that. And that's pretty much where they scored all their points from. So, you know, if we can reduce that number of errors, um, you know, I think it would have been a completely different game. You know, we actually played really well when we had the ball and when we were in our system. Um, our forwards were awesome. They are being physical, dominant. Um, but, yeah, we just, just weren't accurate. And, you know, if you look at the Blues, they've got incredible talent that they can score from anywhere, which they did. So, yeah. Well, it sounds like you're not too down in the dumps about it, and I was hoping you'd say that because the scoreline really did blow out. And, Billy, it left a lot of us asking... What, are the Blues that good or were the Highlanders that bad? And I don't know whether it was a bit of both, but I don't think it was probably sort of equally extreme on either end, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think uh, I think even Leon had mentioned it. You know, he probably wasn't, um, you know, they still had lots of areas where they weren't quite happy with. So, um, yeah, they just, they've got a pretty pretty uh, stacked team, I'd say, to be fair. And um, that was that was the case on the weekend. So before the season, did you you know did you look at these games in a block? I mean, playing two, playing the Blues, playing the Crusaders, first two matches up. These are the last you know beaten finalists and winners last year. Probably the two best teams in the comp on paper before we enter it. What did you think about these two games? Were you ta- what were you targeting? Uh, yeah, obviously it's a tough start, and then we go into the Chiefs uh, following, which you know after their Bloody first hell. round. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after their first. Who did the draw? Somebody who doesn't like the Highlanders, mate, if that's the case, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think Highlanders are never in the... uh, They're always on the the worst end of the the draw, usually. Um, But, you know, we're going to beat sort of every team. We want to be uh, champions, so uh, it doesn't really matter too much uh, who we've got. But I think the coaches looking at it, they wanted to give everyone a crack in those sort of first three rounds. Um, let everyone prove themselves, put their hand up because it's a long season. So uh, we should get a, a bit of a not a easier run. It's definitely not the word I want to use um, because every team's uh, pretty decent. So, but probably uh, after those three rounds, it gets a little bit um, more manageable for us, I suppose. Billy Harmon, Highlanders number seven with us, and the Highlanders playing the Crusaders this weekend. Uh, look, I mean the Crusaders, you know, showed everyone on. Friday night, that it is a game of small margins. I know these are cliches and we talk about these, mate, but it is a game of small margins. It's a game of moments. You put pressure on any team, you can actually find chinks. Uh, that's exactly it. You know, Chiefs played in the right parts of the field. Um, and when you do that, you start to build pressure and then uh, anything can happen from that. So Chiefs played really well. They showed, uh, I suppose, a good blueprint for anyone coming up against the Crusaders. Um so, yeah, but, you know, the Crusaders are going to be, <laughs> they're not going to have uh, enjoyed that. So they'll be, they'll be looking to bounce back. So we're probably coming up a, probably a side who's got a bit more to play, play for. So it's going to be tough. I'm glad you mentioned the territory thing because everyone always talks about position stats, but it's where you are on the field. The, the importance of that has never changed it. No, nah, absolutely not. And I think um, Crusaders are usually really good at um, their kicking battles and playing in the right parts of the field. Uh, and I think they're happy to play without the ball. You know, you often see their tackle stats are pretty high. Uh, that's, you know, for that exact reason. But, you know, with Damien and the Chiefs, they just seem to uh, just be did a real great job of uh, pinning them down in those areas and making them force either carry back out or... Um, you know, bad kicks, so, yeah. 
I can hear the lads laughing and having a bit of a fun in the background. So obviously the mood in the camp's pretty damn good, which it should be. It's only round number one, remember? We're out round two this weekend. Oh, that's exactly it. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a long season ahead. Not too much is going to happen from round one. So for us, it's just about getting better, uh, learning from the weekend and then, you know, just moving on. Tell me that the NZR have put you up in the Kuru Lounge, mate. Is that what I'm hearing in the background there? Yeah, the boys are here, but uh, not courtesy of NZR. I think most boys are running the gold, so okay. you've just got to sort of snag along with who's who's got that. And what, your seat number is 64G, is it? <laughs> yeah, tucked away in the back somewhere, yeah. Hey, look, all the best. Probably, I know. Sorry, mate, keep going. No, nah, no, nah, probably squished in between, you know, probably a couple props as yeah. well, so yeah. it'll, be, it'll be enjoyable. Yeah, get off my armrest, mate. Yeah, establish that early. It's very important. It's like a sentence yeah, up front, yeah. isn't it? Hey, look, uh, all the best for exactly. Melbourne. I know it's I know it's a special round, and I know that you guys look forward to it. Um, and uh, one hell of a game against the Crusaders. Uh, play well, mate, and stay injury-free for the rest of the season. Play well. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Good to talk. Good to talk, too. Billy Harmon with us from the Highlanders.